I will focus on Greece. Um, you know the political decision was taken to initiate the transfer to Greece of almost 1 billion euro. The precise number is 973 million euro. It has two components. Um, 644 million um, are the equivalent of SMP and ANFA profits. And the second component is 339 million euro related to the step-up margin um, that we talked about it many times. These 339, again, has two subcomponents. Um, 103 million was already paid by Greece last year, <coughs> and since then the money is in our accounts in Luxembourg. Um, and the large amount, 226 million, would be due in June, because it accumulates from July last year to June this year, um, unless a decision is taken um, not to charge that. So that all adds up to 973 million. Um, after the political decision was taken today, the national procedures will begin, and um, if all that goes well, we should be able to disperse the money um, no later than early May. But I want to put this um, decision today in the broader context, because it's one of the many debt relief measures that was decided by the Eurogroup um, um, last year. Of course, Greece is out of a program. So there are no more loan disbursements. And also these 973 million, it's not a loan. It's a transfer. It doesn't have to be repaid. That already shows that we are dealing here with something quite different. So no conditionality, no program. However, as um, equivalent for these substantial debt relief measures, Greece took the commitment um, to implement everything that was agreed under the ESM program. This is of particular importance for the ESM, because after we dispersed more than 200 billion euro to Greece, obviously we have a great interest that um, the Greek growth potential is enhanced. Um, higher growth, better growth potential will make it easier to repay the loans, even if it's 40 years from now. Um, and that's why the statement that was adopted by the Eurogroup today on Greece um, refers to these commitments that are particularly important to enhance growth. So it talks about further NPL reduction, implementing the fiscal targets that were agreed, no new targets, the old targets, but it's also important to implement those fiscal targets in a growth-friendly way, because there are different ways to do it. Also, competitiveness should be um, preserved, and areas which have not been eliminated to zero um, should be tackled. Um, so all that is important for the Greek economy and for the ESM as the largest creditor. That's why you find all those things in the statement on Greece. Just a very short word, word on um, the discussion that took place on budgetary instrument and on EDIS. I think that is in the long term really important to make progress here. There was progress today, it has to continue, because these are steps that would make monetary union more robust, less vulnerable. That is important, and um, I can tell you when I talk to investors around the world um, on the ESM roadshows, um, I hear again today more than maybe two or three years ago that they believe monetary union is incomplete, and it will be incomplete unless there is a budgetary instrument one day and until there is a deposit insurance one day. The timing is less important, and it's, I think, absolutely um, acceptable, and also markets understand that the sequencing has to be discussed, the preconditions that need to be in place to take these steps need to be discussed, but the ultimate goal should not be questioned, and I think we made some good progress today in that respect.